Hi everyone, today we will discuss depth buffer algorithm. In fourth module we are learning visible surface direction methods. Why we are using the visible surface direction methods to get the realistic effect in my graphics. To get the realistic effect I have to identify all the visible objects in that viewing direction and I have to display it. To identify and display the visible objects, I am having this visible surface direction methods. And this BSD method, it is classified into image space method and object space method. And under image space method, we have this depth buffer algorithm. Right. So this depth buffer algorithm it is otherwise known as the other name for depth buffer algorithm is set buffer algorithm right and here this method is used to identify the visible objects right depth buffer or it is known as set buffer right set buffer algorithm so how this algorithm works is like right so for every pixels I have to calculate the depth depth value that is set value I have to calculate for every pixel every pixel and based upon these set values I have to detect which object is close to my view plane the closer object I should make as visible this is what we are learning in depth buffer algorithm Calculate the set value for every pixel of your object. Based upon the set value, right, identify the closest object to my view plane and this um, and make that object as visible. Right, uh, consider that object as a visible object. Now this is my view plane. Right, uh, so I have three surfaces: S1, S2, S3. Right, and I have to identify which among these three which surface i should make us visible which one i should make us visible the surface that is closest to the view plane i should make us visible for this right so i have to calculate the set value for every pixel so this is my xy value in my view plane right for the same xy value in all the surfaces i have to calculate the set value so here if I take this point, right, this xy value will be same, right, but set it differs, right, here for the same xy value calculate the depth, calculate the depth from my view plane, here also xy remains the same but set value will be different, right. So uh, if I take this algorithm, I need two buffers, right. I need depth buffer, I need refresh buffer, right. So refresh buffer will store the xy intensities and depth value will be stored in depth buffer, right. So coming to this algorithm, initialize the depth buffer and the frame buffer. The other name for frame buffer is nothing but my refresh buffer, right. I initialize both the uh, buffers for all the position for all the pixels i have to initialize these two buffers right initially this depth buffer will be initialized to one because you know in the previous video we have learned this 3d viewing pipeline and i have to normalize my view volume for the normalized coordinates will be zero to one so the near plane will be in zero and the far plane will be in one Right, so I have to initialize my depth buffer to the maximum value. So in normalized coordinate, normalized coordinate it ranges from 0 to 1, right, in that which is the maximum value 1. So initialize the depth buffer to its max value. So I will be initializing to 1. And the frame buffer will be initialized to my background color. Now process each polygon one at a time one by one i have to process all my polygons process each polygon one by one and for each pixel position of a polygon calculate the set value as i told 
for every pixel position i have to calculate the depth value from my view plane depth value from my view plane depth value from view plane right uh, so if you find any depth value less than the already stored depth value what you have to do you have to replace the um, depth depth buffer by the current computed set value i'll repeat what is my aim in this depth buffer whichever object is closer will have the less set value right so if set value is less means it shows the um, object is closer to my view plane so i i am initializing my depth buffer to maximum value so when i compute the set value for every pixel if i find any set value less than already stored value right uh, depth make the depth uh, make the depth buffer to the uh, current computed set value and the frame buffer also for the uh, set the color right uh, for that position set the color this is what is happening in depth buffer algorithm this is my depth buffer algorithm right uh, but here in depth buffer algorithm i have to do for every pixel right i have to do for every pixel so it is like tremendous job right so pixel by pixel if i sit and calculate this set value it is a tremendous job so what i'll be doing is like uh, i'll be finding an approach how to calculate the set value for a pixel right uh, so consider this is my polygon right these are my scan lines right this is my y scan line right and the next one will be y minus 1 because i am starting from the top right and if you take the pixel values this is my x the pixel x plus 1 x plus 2 and it will reach the maximum x value here right so we are considering a polygon here right so i'll write the parametric equation for my polygon parametric equation will be ax plus by plus c set plus d equal to 0 right so from this can i calculate the set value set value will be minus ax minus by minus d by c will be my set right will be my set right so with this formula if i sit and calculate set value for every pixel this will be a uh, tremendous job so what i will do is like so if i could calculate the set value of a single pixel with that value i can proceed for the nearby pixel right that is right uh, this what about the location of this pixel x comma y this i have taken as x right y the scan line so this position will be x comma y right so what about the next pixel y remains the same but there will be changes only in x so this location will be x plus 1 this location will be x plus 1 right but what about y y is same so for x plus 1 comma y right i can calculate the set value based upon this previous pixel right so i'll write so in the place of this x and y substitute these values so my set it becomes minus a right in the place of x right what is my coordinate x coordinate now it is x plus 1 minus b y minus d by c so which is equal to minus ax minus a minus by minus d by c right so from this can i write like minus ax minus by minus d by c minus a by c right so what about this value this is my set which is set minus a by c right so i'll take this as z x plus 1 right z x plus 1 i'll take otherwise i can take as 
set dash right so set dash is what this location set dash is nothing but set x plus 1 this location for this location how i can calculate the um, set value previous pixel set value minus a by c right this is how i can calculate for the complete scan line but coming to the next scan line what i can do is like uh, the starting pixel set value of every scan line i can calculate with the previous starting pixel value i'll repeat starting pixel starting pixel set value can be calculated with the previous pixel previous starting pixel set value previous starting pixel set value right so here if i take this is the starting pixel of my next scan line right how i have written this location it should be x plus 1 right comma y minus 1 right now the coordinate will be for next scan line it is x plus 1 comma y minus 1 so this x plus 1 also i will take as x dash and this y minus 1 also i will take as y dash right for my substitution right uh, what we are learning now starting pixel of every scan line the set value of the starting pixel of every scan line can be calculated with the set value of the previous starting pixel previous scan line starting pixel previous scan line starting pixel so the previous line will be x comma y so this i can take as x dash y dash so for this now for these two points i have to calculate the slope first right uh, what is the slope formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 right so here it is x comma y this location will be x dash comma y dash now how will i write my slope so x dash y dash y dash minus y by x dash minus x right so with this slope i have to find the value of this y right so you know what is y dash y dash is nothing but my next scan line which is nothing but y minus 1 so in the place of this y dash i can substitute y minus 1 so this minus y right which is equal to x dash minus x which is my m right so these two get cancelled right so i will be having x dash minus x which is equal to minus 1 by m right from this can i write what is x dash x dash is equal to x plus sorry minus x minus 1 by m right so it is nothing but x dash is equal to x minus 1 by m x minus 1 by m right so this is my x dash right next what i am supposed to do is like I have to calculate the set value for this point. What is this point? X dash comma Y dash. Right. So when I want to calculate set value, what is my formula? This is my formula. So in this formula, I have to substitute this X and Y value. Right. So X becomes X. So for this point, it is X dash Y dash. X dash we have calculated here and y dash we know it is y minus 1 i am going to substitute these values in my set formula right so set is equal to i'll write the set formula right set is equal to small x small set it is a x minus b y minus d by c right so now what is the formula it is in the place of x i have to substitute minus a by x 
minus 1 by m. So where I took this is my calculated x dash. Right. Minus b. Right. What is my y dash? So in the place I have to write as y dash. Y dash is nothing but y minus 1. Right. So it is y minus 1 minus d. By c. Right. Now you can write this which is equal to minus Right. Minus a x plus a by m minus b y plus b minus d. Right. Minus a x plus minus b y plus okay by c. From this I can write minus a x minus b y minus d by c plus a by m plus b by c so which is equal to this is my set right which we have done in the first step minus a x minus b y minus d by c so i'll write my set plus a by m plus b by c right up right what is this what is this how to calculate the set value uh, set value of the starting pixel of next scan line right so how i am calculating this set value is the star, uh, set value of the starting pixel of my previous scan line to this i have to add this value right but this is when you have a slope right but instead of a slope line, if you have a vertical line, right, this m becomes 0. So you won't get this part. You will get for vertical lines, for vertical lines, how you will get, right, this set dash will be, set dash will be previous set value plus b by c right so this is depth buffer algorithm so how we are doing this depth buffer algorithm i am supposed to calculate the set value of each and every pixel in my polygon right so calculating set value of every pixel will be tremendous so what i'll be doing for the first pixel using this formula i'll calculate the set value and with this calculated set value, I can calculate the set value of the nearest pixel of the same scan line. Then coming to the next scan line, right, the set value of the first pixel in my next scan line can be calculated with the set value of the starting pixel of my previous scan line. Right. Thank you.